It's been more than a week since Chilean soldiers began patrolling the border with neighboring Bolivia to control undocumented migration. But everyone we speak to says that the mainly Venezuelan and Colombian migrants continue outwitting authorities. They come down that hill and the coyotes pick them up in mini buses and take them to the city through back roads. The bush drivers should be punished. It's illegal. This has become the main entry point for tens of thousands of undocumented migrants. This path is one of the main smuggling routes from Bolivia into Chile here in the Atacama Desert. You can see the footprints here that show that people were passing probably overnight. It used to, in fact, be nicknamed the cigarette path because uh, cheap Bolivian cigarettes were smuggled usually from there into Chile and stolen cars were smuggled from Chile into Bolivia. Now it's no longer really a cigarette smuggling path, but rather a path used to bring undocumented migrants from Bolivia into Chile. It's not just smugglers who are making money, but also Bolivian soldiers who man this base just over the border. According to Chilean soldiers and police, as well as local residents, the Bolivian soldiers are using vehicles like this one to bring migrants right to the border and charging them $30 a person. Last night I couldn't sleep from the noise. The Bolivian soldiers cross over all the time. They've even stolen some of my llamas, complains this resident. But there's a bigger problem. Bolivia cut diplomatic ties with Chile in 1978. The neighbors have only consular relations, and that's made this desolate border a magnet for migrants. Bolivia will only agree to take back undocumented migrants from its own country. It's the only country that does that. This means that Venezuelans, Colombians, Brazilians, or anyone else who comes into Chile without authorization cannot be sent back. Chile's government is currently attempting to negotiate a reciprocal deal with Bolivia, but so far there's been no breakthrough. Meanwhile, the local indigenous Aymaras, who for centuries have gone back and forth across the border as easily as crossing the street, complain that they're the only ones obliged to produce up-to-date permits to enter this country. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Colchane.